Alexa, what's your favorite scary movie? Hi everyone, I'm so freaking excited! I'm even making like sounds. Can't even make sounds. I'm so excited. I've never been so excited for an unboxing in my freaking life. I'm so excited. I genuinely cannot think of a time that I have been more like <laughs> to open a package like for realsies. Like I, like, like, mm. I need to calm it down. I need to bring it in. Down. <laughs> I can't, I'm so sorry. Okay, today we have a spooky garden room, like literal must have. I have been staring at this box. Oh, it says fragile on it. I should probably be careful. <laughs> I have been staring at this box since it arrived. We are unboxing a package from Mayhem Made. I will tell you all about them. Uh, but first, who is the lucky, lucky little horror monster who gets to be our featured patron for the Mayhem Made video? Dom! Oh my goodness! Dom! My love, Dom, thank you so much for being our featured patron for such a special, special video to dig. Perfecto. I miss you, I love you, I hope your life is treating you kindly, my sweet Dom. Mm. <laughs> May have made and Dom. What a video. Woo, okay. <laughs> I feel like I need to reel in. We're, we're fishing. I need to reel in my excitement because I'm gonna scare everyone away. Oh my God. If you are a spooky monster person like me, if you love horror to your core like me, if you love a little homage to the classics like me, babe, this video is for you. I first found Mayhem made because of y'all. As so many people have been tagging me on their Instagram, sending me links to their website. You guys, <laughs> I cannot even explain how much joy that fills my little spooky heart. The fact that you saw these items that are here in this box and you thought of me, I could cry. <laughs> Like, I am flattered. <laughs> so I came across Mayhem Made because so many people had been sending it to me. So I was like, okay, let me just like take a little pop over their website, see what's happening, see what's going on over here. I opened this website, lay cast, <laughs> like a screaming, crying, ghoul garden dream item. I wish, I wish I knew about this brand when I was planning the, the Ghoul Garden transformation. This, these things are so good. These are like base my room around kind of good. <laughs> but fortunately for us, it just happens to fit perfectly in the Ghoul Garden. Like I don't even have to change a thing. Like it's like they were made for each other. Have I even said what they are? I don't think so. <laughs> I will get through this. I will get through this. <laughs> the whole intro to this video is like completely unintelligible. <laughs> if, if you think there's like a lot of squeals now, just imagine how many squeals I've edited out at this point. So many squeals. <laughs> so They Have It Made is a goth and alternative inspired homeware brand from the UK and they make some of the freaking coolest planters I have ever seen on the planet. That is right, I am talking horror icons as planters, hanging planters, sitting on the table planters. They're also like dabbling in making horror busts. And the, the planters from Mayhem Made are 3D printed. So they're all designed by Mayhem Made, 3D printed by Mayhem Made. We love a small business moment here on the channel. And this one y'all, I think is going to blow you away. I do have like one 3D printed planter um, already that I showed a little bit of in the Ghoul Garden video. It's like just a skull. And it is one of my favorite planters that I have in the room currently. 
currently. I have a feeling that is gonna change. The fact that it's 3D printed makes it super, super lightweight. So it doesn't feel like it's going to like collapse and break everything in my room if it falls. Like that compared to some of my like ceramic planters, it is like the, the difference is night and day. They're so lightweight, which is like perfect for um, something that you're gonna be hanging from the wall or from the ceiling. So Mayhem Maids planters are 3D printed. This box I think has three of them inside of it and it is super, super light. Can I open it? <laughs> Can I just open it now? I'm so excited. I just cannot wait any longer. I'm getting like big like Christmas energy <laughs> from like when you're a kid and you know that Christmas joy that's really hard to replicate as an adult. That's what I'm feeling right now. Look at this. Wait a second, I didn't know this. Okay, first of all, that art is amazing. <laughs> this bodes well. With this order, we have planted a tree through ecology to offset our carbon footprint. That is awesome. Stop, wait, here's the QR code. If you're interested in scanning, that is cool as heck. I am curious about the QR code, are you? Let's find out. Like, look at this. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love this weight. So let's recap. Recyclable, biodegradable, planting trees, small business, spooky as heck, mayhem made. Okay. They're sitting right here, just like waiting for me to cry on them. <laughs> what do we have here? kill like comes back to life it doesn't, like, it doesn't even matter like drowned shot sent off to space <laughs> freaking exploded by an entire execution squad <laughs> doesn't matter this guy will get zapped back to life in like a frankenstein manner like he will he will you will never get rid of him okay it doesn't even matter what you do our stabby stabby zappy zappy boy the one the only Jason Voorhees. Round of applause, everyone. To say, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan is an understatement. <laughs> Dudes, holy smokesies. Jason freaking Voorhees mask on a skeleton. You can kind of peep the skeleton. Like it's the mask is broken along the side and then we have like little skeleton teeth in there. You can see if you like look through his eyeballs, like a little bit of um, like, like little eye pits. That's not <laughs> what they're called. Eye sockets, that's it. The detail, the detail. Look, okay, so, okay, oh my god. Like, the strap even has little buttons on it to hold it together, and then the strap goes around the back here. The cracks look so good on the mask. And then it has a black chain on it, which is gonna look perfect against my black wall. Like, these guys with the Jason, oh my god. Okay, we'll get to it, we'll get, I'm just too excited, I have to skip ahead. <laughs> uh, so it has a black chain, oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> Look how shiny. Look how shiny. Oh, it comes in uh, different colors too. So like if this coppery color doesn't match your space, it comes in other colors. I just thought for the ghoul garden, like dude, dude. Okay, Jason, what else do we have in here? Chaotic energy over here today, packing peanuts down. Well, who was peeking through here? Oh. This is the back of it, <laughs> and I'm like already losing my mind. Do you recognize this hair? Do you recognize this hairstyle? Stop. Dude, this, this is so cool. This is so cool. The silent killer, the lurky turkey, the man behind the bushes, the man who's not even in the third installment of his own franchise, Michael Myers, everyone, round of applause. 
This is sick. This design is so freaking cool. Four more days till Halloween. 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 Four more days till Halloween. That's the one without Michael. <laughs> this design is so cool. This might even be... This might even be cooler somehow than Mr. Voorhees himself because you get to see more of this face. Look at, look at how cool, that, okay, my favorite part, my favorite part. Look, underneath here, we have like a spine. That's nasty, I love it. Look at that, look at the detail. This is kind of like one of the, the signature Mayhem made designs is having like a horn coming out of these iconic characters. Look at the stitches on the mask. This is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. Look at that. Look at that spine. Look at this. This is so freaking cool. They're even cooler than I thought they were gonna be. They're so detailed. With like the way the light hits it, y'all. Michael. You're creepy. You're creepy, man. Michael's just like. A little like sidebar real quick is that I have a horror themed Animal Crossing Island called Brutal Bay. It's a whole thing. Welcome to Brutal Bay. <laughs> But because I stream this island on Twitch, I have a set of horror themed emotes that I have on my channel. My most used emote by far is my Michael Myers little like peeking around a bush. He's all, hi. <laughs> For my lurks, I am a, oh, I am a lurking queen. We have Fre Freddy, this is another one I use all the time. Freddy just like drinking his coffee. It's, like, it's our never sleep again coffee. We have Ghostface just here, stab. Stabby boy Ghostface. We have a Pennywise laughing. This is so cursed. This is the most cursed one by far. It's so scary. It's like so alarming when it shows up in chat. We have a Candyman BRB. B RB. Get it? Bs. And we have Jigsaw for when it's like time to switch from like just chatting to like a gameplay. He says play a game. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? So I've had a ton of fun drawing those and I have like a whole list of ones I want to add. So before we know it, all of my emotes might be horror and that's just how it is around here. Sorry. Sidebar concluded. Okay, I think we have one more. And then we can hang them up. Okay. Excuse me. You. Ooh. Ooh. Why the long face? Why the long face? Ghost face. <laughs> I think that of all of the horror icon, like mega horror genre and universe, I think the Scream franchise is like as a whole, my fave. It is a, such a strong franchise, especially compared to like, oh bless, sorry bud. <laughs> But like screen, the screen movies are so good, through and through, mostly. Even Scream's worst movie is um, better than some of the best of the other franchises. We just did a marathon like recently, so I'm like especially hyped about it. Oh, you mysterious whodunit! You ever-changing pair of monsters, Ghostface and friends. I guess they're all Ghostface, aren't they? So. Just ghost face. And ghost face is a plural term for all of the ghost faces. The ghost face sees? No, ghost feces. No, that's not. <laughs> that means something different. This one, the details might be a little bit hard to see on camera because it's white. There he is. That's a little bit easier, isn't it? Okay, so he has the ghost face mask that goes like all the way down and then it's cracked on the side like the others and reveals the, the skeleton underneath. Whoa, wait a minute. Plot twist, one of these teeth on the skeleton here is pointy. Are we talking vampire crossover? Scream 6 is like the kids from Twilight who are now like a hundred. <laughs> but of course they would still play high schoolers because obviously just a bunch of 40 year old high schoolers ghost facing each other, you know? Scream 6, coming next summer. 
So I got the ghost face one in white so that I could put it over by my desk. I feel like the white planter would really balance out that space. And so I could see a different color of the planters. Um, we have the copper ones which will go back here and then we have the white one which will go over there so as far as just like other observations if you're trying to pick out what color you like i think i prefer the um the copper one because it's easier to see all of the detailing on it and there's so much detail on these planters like you do not want to miss any of the details because like you could tell these designs are so intricate and made with so much love of the genre and they just show up so so well on the copper planters i also love the shiny finish the like metallic looking finish of the copper color and the white one is like a flat matte color just holding him by his chin <laughs> should we hang them up they have made wait a second wait there's something else in here hold on hold on wait a second sleepy hollow what is this what is this <sighs> Oh my god, first of all, this smells so good. This is a candle for the ghoul garden. But it's the ghosty! <laughs> it's so cute! Oh my god, it's so cute. I could literally never burn this. Literally never. It's so darling. And it smells so good. What is this smell? Holy smokes, that smells so good. This is from their their sister brand called the Cozy Crypt. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mayhem made and cozy crypt ghoul garden it just fits in there. Let me like look up what this smell is. It smells so good. I have no idea. Okay, here's the description of Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow is the scent, okay? Of the ghoul gang ghost candle. Okay, we're all on the same page here. Sleepy Hollow is a sweet maple fragrance warmed by top notes of orange with a spicy center of cinnamon and ginger and an unexpected ending of maple syrup and vanilla. No freaking wonder I couldn't ID that. It's so complex. It definitely does have like a little spice to it. It's like that, or it's orange. It's like orange and ginger and maple. It's so weird. Oh my God, it smells so good. I would never think to put orange and ginger and maple together. Oh, it's so, so strong. I'm never burning this ever. Um. I am going to... What a little angel! Oh my god, look how cute he looks! I am so happy right now. That's a perfect place for him too! Look at him! Look at him! Oh, actually, this ghost, like, on these are regular choice heels, they look like they could be murderers! They could be murderers! <laughs> What a super nice surprise. Thank you, Mayhem for including that little Cozy Crypt candle for me. How very nice of you. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can hang them up. My my hands smell so good from handling the candle. Mmm. <laughs> Dom, darling, are you are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so excited. Okay, come on. Uh, one thing I'm noticing now that I'm like actually going to hang it up is that I feel like I should have mentioned this earlier, but here we are. Okay, so uh, there is not a drainage hole in the bottom of these. If you are planning to put real plants in here, all of the plants in the ghoul garden are fake because it's usually like a dark, dark cave in here. I usually have the blinds to close the blackout curtains and it's just like candlelight in here. It's so cozy. <laughs> so make sure to do like a plant that doesn't need a lot of drainage or uh, like me, a bunch of fake plants. <laughs> the length of the chain is about there compared to where I have the planter sitting now, right there. So it's a little bit shorter. I will probably want it to be longer like this about because that way you can see it in the frame when I'm filming and you could also see it in the back of my streams. <laughs> so I will probably add some black chain to this. I don't know if I have any just like in my craft stuff now. So I might just use like a black wire or rope or string or something uh, for now since it is super super lightweight and my plants are fake. So there's no soil in here. It weighs like zero zero pounds. <laughs> uh, but I'll probably switch it out to a chain later just for aesthetic reasons. Hi, I'm just creeping in on the mirror here, but look how much cooler that looks than that. It's just so freaking cool. <laughs>
things so I just need a few little updates ever since. Most notably I brought my makeup stuff in here so that's like over there now and the thing that the leaf that my headphones were on were stored on over here they didn't quite fit exactly comfortably like it was squeezing them a little bit and made me kind of nervous about my headset so my dear Sean, Sean got me this spooky spooky hand I'll bring you in closer. That holds my headphones over here now. It's so perfect and spooky for the garden and for holding my headphones, I love it. And it has opened up a space here for one face of ghost. Ghost face, what are you thinking? What do you think? Like here? Ghost face, we have a home for you, sweetheart. No. Look, okay, I know I call everyone sweetheart, but Ghostface, you haven't earned that name. <laughs> Stop murdering people. Stop murdering people. If you want to be a sweetheart, you simply must stop the murder. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my spooky little heart oh my god they're so cool they're so cool they're so perfect in here aren't they they're like made for this space mayhem made for this space there we go i feel like they're like my little angel and devil on the shoulder thing except they're both devils <laughs> Oh, I am so happy that they're gonna be in the background of all of my videos now. Like, oh my god, besties, besties. <laughs> so if these little cuties seem like something that um, you may want or like are of interest to you, you are not alone. <laughs> these things uh, they have made is like always sold out. Everybody loves these and everybody wants these. And oh, do I feel so lucky that I have them? Yes, I do. So lucky. Because these are custom made and custom printed by Mayhem Made, it's a small business. It's not like a huge big like corporation just cranking these guys out. These are 3D printed by Mayhem Made, designed the whole, the whole shenanigans are all like, there <laughs> you know so production time can take a while and supplies are limited so the best way to get your hands on one of these is to um i would say follow them on instagram they do post when they're going to be doing restocks on their instagram so you can like if you want one of these guys they also have they have more than just this but if these will complete your life fill your heart or if like you you know someone who like that's the perfect gift for them if your partner is like a horror fanatic if your bestie is like a super creep a little freak dom my little freak <laughs> then I would definitely recommend following Mayhem Made on Instagram and get those restock updates so that you are ready at your computer when the clock strikes and you can snag yourselves a horror planter from Mayhem Made. They also have um, the busts, the busts. Oh my God, That's, this is a dream. I am gonna pop pictures of them up because you absolutely must see. These are a mix of hand painted and airbrushed and ah, the Sydney on the ghost face wait 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 okay after looking at that after seeing that i went back and looked at my ghost face again and look look it has the names carved into the design i just didn't notice it because my filming lights are so bright i didn't see it on the white oh heck yeah do you see it says sydney there and casey down here oh and there's these on the back too okay okay i feel like I might do 
like a heckin' paint on this. I might paint it similar to the way they have their bus painted just to make the, the details stand out a little bit more because those details are so sick, man. I don't know, maybe we'll paint it on like a Patreon stream or something. I can't believe I didn't see that before. I'm so stoked, man. And look at the Michael with, the, with his little suit. <laughs> probably jumpsuit. What are they called? Coveralls? What are those called? It's probably not a suit. That implies that he's like Michael Myers with a little tie. <laughs> anyway, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I am just so impressed. It's so cool. I've never seen anything cooler. <laughs> I feel so lucky to have these. Mayhem made, thank you for sending them to me for this video and for including our little new friend as a little secret surprise. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Dom, you little freak. <laughs> I love you so much. Thanks for being our featured patron. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I do have some more Ghoul Garden content coming up for you. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you like the spooky room, there's more of this coming. And thanks for watching. Comment your favorite scary movie. What's your favorite scary movie <laughs> in the comments below? Or what's your favorite like horror villain just in general? You know who I love who we barely even talked about today? Freddy. Freddy is my, is my guy. My favorite super franchise is Scream. My favorite horror megastar is Freddy. Comment your favorites below and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching my friends. I love you. Dom, I love you. Have yourselves a beautiful, beautiful day. Okay, bye! Uh, can I also show you real quick? Dream, uh, Dream, our featured patron from last week actually got me this pen. A Leatherface cat. A Texas Chainsaw Massacre cat pen. Uh, love you, Dream. Okay, bye y'all. Oh my god, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? <laughs>